What's good, fam? It's your boy, Michael Trinza here. And today I'm bringing y'all a very important topic, which I think will benefit many of you. So as you can see from the title of this video, the most important meal of the day, ironically, tends to be the one which is missed the most. With a busy schedule in the morning, breakfast tends to fall to the bottom of your list of things to do. So the next time you're rushing out your door in the morning without something in your stomach, consider what I'm about to tell you. Eating breakfast, or skipping breakfast, can set you up with overeating later in the day. A healthy meal, on the other hand, satisfies your appetite, gets your metabolism running, gives you energy, and sets the stage for smart decision making all day long. Going without breakfast means you're likely to eat more calories throughout your entire day. People who tend to eat breakfast, on the other hand, get their metabolism humming, and tend not to consume as many calories during the entire day. So they wind up weighing less than those who don't get the benefits of eating breakfast. One of the biggest misconceptions about not eating breakfast is that if I want to lose weight, why not skip breakfast? After all, two meals have fewer calories than three. The desire to lose weight is the most frequently cited reason for skipping breakfast. But many studies have found that people who skip breakfast tend to be more overweight. The theory is that they more than make up for the missed calories in the morning by eating more at lunch or snacking all day long. If you're not a breakfast eater or have a hard time eating in the morning, you may just have a bad habit. To start breaking that habit, try a light breakfast such as a banana and a glass of milk or a cup of low-fat, low-sugar yogurt with some fruit. You may just need to retrain your system to accepting food in the morning. You want to aim for a breakfast that combines good carbs and fiber with some protein. In my opinion, the best breakfast you can have is your eggs and oatmeal. Every morning I have two whole eggs, four egg whites, and half a cup of oatmeal with a sliced up banana. Eggs contain many vitamins and minerals that are an essential part of a healthy and balanced diet. And they're also considered one of the best protein sources available. And the health benefits of eggs are just stupid good. The benefits consist of a healthy brain, a strong immune system, healthy eyesight, lower risk of heart disease, weight loss and maintenance. Um, the list goes on, a healthy appearance. You may have noticed a heart shape still in your box of oatmeal recently. And that's there because oats contain beta glucan which is a type of fiber that has been proven to help lower cholesterol when eaten regularly. Steel cut oats, which take about 50 minutes to cook, contain more fiber than your rolled oats or your instant oats, but any, any type of oatmeal is a healthy choice, just avoid the flavored kinds. Those can be packed with a lot of sugar. I'm gonna name you a few other items which are a healthy choice for breakfast. Your Greek yogurt, grapefruit. If you don't eat eggs or dairy, almond butter is an excellent alternate source of protein. You have all your berries, your blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, all the antioxidants are going to be good for you. And also your whole wheat bread. But remember, what you put on it matters. Don't just slather your toast with jelly or butter, which is just going to fill it with empty fat and calories. Get some protein by adding some almond butter or some eggs. I hope you've learned about the benefits of a healthy breakfast. And for the ones who tend to miss breakfast, I hope you've realized what you're missing and start including a healthy breakfast into your diet. Thanks, and stay tuned for the next one.